Welcome to Photography Bay's coverage of Photo Plus 2011, brought to you by BNH, the professional source for photo, video, and pro audio tools. You can find BNH online at bhphotovideo.com. So last night I checked out Canon's Legends and Imaging event. It was a PIXMA and EOS combo event. I guess had the live USA big launch for the new PIXMA Pro 1. Uh, which if you haven't heard about the new PIXMA Pro 1, if you missed that news earlier this week, it's the new um, professional printer from, from Canon that has 12 separate inks and supports uh, 1200 PPI input resolution, print resolutions up to 4800 by 2400 DPI. And if you want to know more about the PIXMA Pro 1, I'll put a link below the video for you to check out. Of course, one of the things that interested me more at the event was the presence of the new Canon 1DX. They had a few pre-production samples on hand that were under closely watched guard. Um, they had the CF card doors that appeared to be sealed shut, so there was no chance to grab some sample images there. Um, just handling the camera, going through the menu system, and working um, that wicked fast shutter speed uh, made, made a few impressions on me. One is uh, the ISO is looks to be really good, as 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 good as I can judge from a 3.2 inch LCD. Now the the high ISO up to 204, 800. That's 204,800. Um, is is obviously a, a little over the top, and that's apparent even when looking at the 3.2 inch LCD. Uh, now, it, it, it is a pre-production model. However, if you go back down to something more reasonable, and, and I can't believe I'm saying this is reasonable, but ISO 12800. Uh, took a few photos with that, and then zoomed in to 100% on the back of the LCD, which is about all, all I could do to evaluate the images, and was pretty impressed with with what I saw. Um, you know, I mean, you, you use these these DSLRs and you work with the images and you, you get used to what they look like at 100%. You can make the judgment somewhat based on on what you can see on the back of the LCD, and uh, it was pretty impressive. Now th th there was some visible noise at a hundred percent. It was it was mostly the the finely grained lumen noise. There there was a little bit of the the color the the chroma color patch um, noise in there. Twelve thousand eight hundred looks like it may be the real deal on the one DX, and that's that's pretty exciting. Um, the autofocus was. Um, quick and extremely low light. I don't, you know, maybe Canon had it had it lit intentionally dim in there. The The other thing that's apparent when you look at the 1DX, when you first pick it up and you hit the menu button, uh, you see you've got an entire tab with a sub tabs within it dedicated to the AF settings. Another really cool thing with the 1DX is the ability to um, monitor audio levels and adjust audio levels while recording or you know even in preview mode uh, while you're looking at your subject while you got your can or your camera pointed down range and you're ready to hit the record button you can make quick adjustments to the levels on the fly uh, and it's pretty quick quick and easy uh, just hit the um, uh, the quick menu button uh, when you get the live view pulled up and so that's that's the highlights of, of what I saw with, with the 1DX. You can check out some more um, thoughts that I'll have written uh, in the post below this video. So thanks for tuning in. We'll have some more from PhotoPlus here uh, over the next couple of days.